it's time for another episode of POV Photo Fun. And today we're keeping it pretty simple, finishing off a half shot roll of Fuji 400, and then keeping theme with this video series, trying a new film stock, Reflex Lab 100R, which is a recanned roll of 5294 motion picture film, AKA Ektachrome 100D. Now this is slide film. I haven't shot that much slide film, so this is pretty rare for me. But I thought the vibrant neighborhood of Roncesvalles, the only community cuter than Mu Deng herself, would be the perfect backdrop to try this film out. That, and I needed to run some errands in this area too. Already f***ed up the start of this video with my camera bag strap blocking my POV rig. So let's waste no time and shoot these images, starting with the Fuji 400. I really like the subject of this shot. The composition can be a bit better, but he was just zooming so fast that I just had to frame up and fire. And I do like the fact that he's the only one on the roadway. Would have thought that I was training for some sort of rucking competition the way I was carrying this 80 to 200 f2.8. The weight of a small toddler on my shoulders on my way to work was not fun, but I think it's kind of worth it when you see this photo. I just love the simplicity of the subjects isolated by the top right part of the frame, and I think isolated subjects might become a theme for this video. The breakfast sandwiches from the spot absolutely slap. So, you know, naturally I decided to take an image of it on the opposite time of day. But for real, the light was just too good to pass up. And it's film photography ritual to photograph the biggest hipster spot in the city. Overall, this roll was okay. 
Um, it was basically a warm up roll, kind of get the creative juices flowing. Um, I had loaded it from a day prior. But overall, I shot 12 images on this specific day, and I would say four are keepers. But we're finally here. The main event, Ektachrome 100D recanned into Reflex Lab 100R. And with the light falling fast and the stores that I still needed to hit up closing soon, I knew I needed to shoot this role faster than the Democratic Party swapped out the carcass of Joe Biden. <laughs> I could not be happier with the first of the roll. The light is so delicious and the color contrast with the blue tone shadows and the sunlight hitting the lone strider walking through the intersection, it's just perfect. Colors are obviously so different to what I normally shoot with this being slide film, but I love it. I think it's great to get out of your comfort zone. And with this image being a little bit too dark for my own liking, I think it kind of works with this mysterious vibe that the colors and the contrast kind of create. <laughs> I like this horizontal version a lot more. The straight on angle is super simple and nice. And the subjects are just a little bit more interesting in my opinion in this one. Just barely captured this image. I am a big fan of Toyota Land Cruisers thanks to Van Neistat, who I watch when I want to cosplay being a lumberjack. But overall, this image is alright. It's not my favorite, but I just really like the reflections and the colors that are happening um, with the light reflecting off the car. And I think it's pretty cool trying to see the Land Cruiser badge and just seeing that slight bit of uh, motion blur. I don't think I've clenched my cheeks harder than trying to hold this lens steady, shooting at 100 ISO with like no light. You're gonna start to see these funky green colors show up on the film. And when I looked at the negative, I see that same discoloration. And with my severe lack of knowledge, I have no idea why this is happening or what it even is. This photo is not too compromised by it, and I could crop it if I want to, 
but some other photos were kind of massacred by this. So if you know what's happening, please let me know. One of my favorites from this role actually. Just love the colors and the way the subjects are just so simply seated. I think it's perfect. Literally, again with this image, I smushed my camera against my face because I was shooting at like 1 50th of a second at 200 millimeters. But I'm just proud that it came out sharp and I actually think it's a really nice moment with them smiling and uh, talking to each other. This was another issue that I was starting to have with some of the frames having this weird vignetting. I'm not sure if this is an issue with the film stock or my camera and the shutter speed, but it's a little bit of a bummer. This photo literally looks like Shrek vomited all over the negative. Also, I find it interesting how it doesn't really cover the highlights or the midtones and really only appears in the shadow parts. don't know what this photo is. I think there was a cool bright orange hat that I was trying to follow and focus on, but the timing just failed miserably. So uh, you, you live and you learn. don't really know why I doubled down on this angle. It's a pretty big composition, but at this point, I was just really trying to shoot as quickly as possible with the light that was going down. But overall, just okay images. Kind of sad that this one didn't turn out because I thought the light and the colors would be rendered nicely, but the composition was pretty boring, so overall it's okay. Still odd that this frame kind of suffers from both of the distortions, from the green discolorations and the weird vignetting. I think what the most confusing thing to me is, is how the last two photos look like an ogre got a hold of it, but this photo has super sharp and clean colors. This shot I'm actually super happy with, especially with the timing and the truck driver. I was pretty lucky to actually catch him although I sadly missed focus a bit. 
still really happy with how this candid moment played out. I absolutely love the contrast with this one. It's probably one of my favorite things about slide film. It's such a simple image, but it's rendered so beautifully just with the light falling on the trees and the house. And now we're right back to broken frames. This one literally looks like half the chemicals came off. Again, I don't know why it's there, but it's just crazy to see it fall off into darkness so heavily. so wild to me how one frame can look like it just came from Shrek's outhouse and the other frame can be a contender for one of your favorites from the entire year. I really love this photo. The subject and the simple solitude, they feel so small in this frame. And then the colors, the overall blue tone, but then these little red pops of color throughout the frame with the jacket and the red signage. And then these picture perfect light leaks framing the entire image matching those little red pops of color, I think is just so perfect and comes together so well. And then immediately back to the mess. Cool light leaks, but it just deleted all of the details. I think you could say this one light leaked too close to the sun. So overall, this roll of 36, I would say there's about seven keepers. I know that's a pretty lopsided ratio, but considering how some of the images turned out, I'm pretty happy with that overall. I really enjoy shooting this film stock, even though there's some photos that will literally probably never see the light of day. I think it's just cool trying a new film stock and learning about what these uh, film stocks have to offer. I do want to know about these distortions and discolorations, if it's user error on my part, or is just a feature of this type of film stock. When I was shooting, I was super nervous about my shutter speed and the focal length that I was shooting at, but I'm just really glad that I was able to pull off these images handheld. And then finally, I just want to quickly highlight my three favorite images. Starting off with the first of the roll, it's just nice because usually the first of the roll is just a warm up shot or it's far from the best. So just seeing one turn out so well is nice. And maybe just because I shot the Fuji, I could just hit the ground running. But the simple solitude just works super nicely. It's not a busy image. It's a very peaceful, relaxing image. And just the color contrast with the blue shadows and the gorgeous orange light on the subject from the sunlight. The second fave would be the shot of everyone eating on the patio. I just love the colors and the pops of warm artificial light. And again, the calming, relaxing nature of the shot is just my favorite. I think of the meme format of having your own little mouse moment, silently eating a meal by yourself alone with your thoughts. I don't know if that's sad or relaxing or both. And the final shot is obvious because it's the end of the roll. And the reason it's my favorite is for two words, light leaks. Just frames the whole picture so nicely. All right, all right. I think that's enough yapping from me. If you ever have any questions or comments, feel free to message me on Instagram at who is Cameron Rollins or just leave a comment down below. And I did want to remind one more thing that if you're ever interested in any color grading sauce, check out my tutorial and review of a plugin called Dehancer. And on screen, you'll see a quick promo code to save yourself some money if you like what you see in that video. Um, but other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe and peace.